construction. Starting at an angle of 54 degrees, it abruptly shifts to 43. It's as if two different planes were awkwardly stitched together. Theories abound, structural miscalculations, ground instability, or even a last minute change of heart by the Pharaoh. But what if this bend was no accident? What if it was intentional? The Pharaoh behind this mystery is believed to be Sneferu, the founding king of Egypt's fourth dynasty, often dubbed the Great Builder. During his reign, around 2600 BCE, Sneferu revolutionized pyramid construction, shifting from the earlier step designs to smooth-sided pyramids. His architectural experiments laid the foundation, literally, for the Great Pyramids that followed. And the Bent Pyramid? It was part of that learning curve. But here's where it gets stranger. Recent archaeological missions, including work by Egyptian archaeologist Dr. Zahi Hawass and a team of German researchers, have uncovered internal corridors and hidden chambers inside the Bent Pyramid that were previously unknown. One vertical shaft, sealed for millennia, may have served as a symbolic or practical passage, though its exact purpose remains elusive. Ground-penetrating radar scans have revealed voids and structural layering that suggest careful, intentional design adjustments. This wasn't slapdash problem-solving, it was engineering on the fly. Some experts now believe the pyramid's bend was a calculated decision to relieve stress and prevent collapse. Think of it not as a mistake, but as the world's first skyscraper undergoing live safety testing. The early steep angle may have caused instability, especially with the heavy limestone casing. Midway through, engineers may have pivoted, literally, to a shallower angle to preserve the structure. If true, the bent pyramid becomes a monument not to failure, but to adaptation, ingenuity, and survival. Even more compelling is the pyramid's unprecedented state of preservation. Unlike most pyramids, the bent pyramid still retains much of its original polished limestone casing. Walking around its base is like stepping back 4,500 years in time. This has allowed researchers to study the fine craftsmanship and construction techniques up close. Microscopic analysis of the mortar and chisel marks reveals a level of precision and consistency that supports the idea of skilled labor, possibly organized crews working under expert oversight rather than chaotic conscripted peasants as once imagined. And what of the pyramid's layout? Its dual entrances, one on the north face, another unusually placed on the west, are an anomaly. Internally, it houses two burial chambers arranged at different heights, connected by a set of ascending and descending passages. No other pyramid in Egypt is built this way. Why would Sneferu commission such a complex and eccentric design? One theory suggests it was an attempt to merge two religious traditions, the northern chamber aligned with celestial beliefs, the western with the solar cult of Ra. Another proposes that this pyramid was meant to serve as both tomb and temple, perhaps even a place of ritual transformation for the pharaoh's soul. In 2019, a joint mission between Egypt and Japan used muon radiography, a technique that tracks cosmic particles passing through stone to scan the bent pyramid's core. While no vast hidden chambers were found like those in the Great Pyramid, the scan confirmed the internal structure was remarkably intact. The pyramid, though bent, stood strong. It was built to last. And then there's the question of legacy. Sneferu didn't stop with the Bent Pyramid. Just a few kilometers away, he built the Red Pyramid, named for the reddish hue of its stone, and considered Egypt's first true smooth-sided pyramid. It followed a gentler angle, suggesting that lessons from the Bent Pyramid were applied. In this light, the Bent Pyramid isn't a misstep, it's a prototype, a stepping stone in a grand architectural evolution. Without it, the Great Pyramid of Khufu Sneferu's son may never have been possible. Still, many questions remain. Why are there no inscriptions within the pyramid confirming Sneferu's burial there? Was it ever used as a tomb at all? Could the pyramid have served a different, perhaps more symbolic purpose? Was it a demonstration of power, a sacred monument to cosmic balance, or even, some fringe theorists suggest, 
a response to celestial alignment gone awry. Despite decades of study, the Bent Pyramid continues to withhold some of its secrets. It stands at a crossroads in history, a physical testament to experimentation, resilience, and human ambition. And perhaps that's its most important lesson. In its strange, angular defiance, the Bent Pyramid invites us to look again, to question, to wonder. Because in Egypt, even stone can bend to the will of visionaries, and behind every anomaly lies a deeper truth. The Bent Pyramid leaves us with more questions than answers, an engineering enigma lost in time. But just when you think ancient Egypt couldn't get more puzzling, a strange L-shaped structure appears near the Great Pyramid, with no clear purpose, no known origin, and no explanation. What was it built for, and why has it defied understanding to this day? For decades, experts believed they had uncovered all the major secrets of Egypt's Giza Plateau. They were wrong. Just steps away from the world-famous Great Pyramid, scientists have detected a mysterious L-shaped structure buried beneath the sand, completely invisible from the surface and unlike anything previously discovered at the site. It doesn't match the known layout of tombs. It was intentionally backfilled, and it might be hiding something even deeper. Using advanced scanning technology, researchers have found what could be a hidden chamber or passageway extending far below ground. The shape, the location, and the secrecy of its construction have experts asking, why was this concealed? Who built it and what lies inside? This isn't just another tomb. This could change what we thought we knew about the Great Pyramid's surroundings and perhaps even about Egypt's ancient builders themselves. Beneath what looks like ordinary desert, archaeologists identified a sharp cornered edifice about 33 by 49 feet across, resting only a few feet under the ground. This subsurface enigma is completely packed with sand, suggesting it was intentionally backfilled after construction. The realization that such a sizable man-made feature lay concealed just underfoot in a long-explored graveyard sent ripples of excitement through the archaeological community. How many other secrets might be hiding in the shadows of these stone giants? It took cutting-edge technology to unveil what the sands had hidden. Between 2021 and 2023, an international team from Egypt and Japan surveyed a section of Giza's Western Cemetery the elite burial ground for Khufu's family members and high officials. This necropolis is laid out in neat rows of mastabas, flat-roofed tombs where offerings were made, each with vertical shafts leading down to burial chambers. The team focused on an odd gap among these tombs where no ruins were visible. For decades, this blank patch was ignored by excavators, as Harvard Egyptologist Peter de Manuelian noted, due to the absence of superstructures on the surface, was it truly empty, or was something lying beneath the sand? To find out, the researchers turned to remote sensing technology. Using ground-penetrating radar, GPR, and electrical resistivity tomography, ERT, the team peered beneath the ground without digging. These techniques allowed them to map buried structures by bouncing radio waves off subsurface features and measuring how the soil resists electrical currents. Day after day, they towed their instruments over the sand with the Great Pyramid as a silent sentinel. Then the monitors lit up with a clear pattern, straight lines converging at a right angle, unmistakably the mark of human construction under the ground. What emerged in the data was an L-shaped anomaly tucked under about six feet of sand. One leg of the L ran roughly 33 feet, with the other leg nearly as long. The configuration was too deliberate to be a natural formation. It could be a part of artificial objects, because the L-shape cannot be created in natural geological structures, noted Motoyuki Sato, the lead researcher. It looked like the outline of an ancient corridor or the corner of a walled chamber, essentially a secret passage frozen in time. Tellingly, the entire structure had been backfilled with sand after construction, as if its builders intended to hide it away. As if one secret were not enough, 
Beneath the L-shape, the instruments detected another anomaly about 33 feet wide, extending down some 30 feet. This deeper feature was highly resistive to electrical scanning, a sign it could be an open void or a different material such as dry sand and gravel. The shallow L-shaped structure seems to connect to this deeper mass, almost like a doorway leading into an unknown subterranean chamber. This discovery raises tantalizing questions. Could it be the hidden tomb of a high-ranking official or royal family member? Giza's Western Cemetery is filled with tombs from the Pyramid Age, but those typically have above-ground markers. Finding an unmarked, entirely underground structure in their midst is unprecedented. One expert pointed out that while L-shaped chapels exist at Giza, they are normally built at ground level. Nothing like this buried enigma. Intriguingly, even well-explored sections of this cemetery continue to yield surprises. Archaeologists recently uncovered statues of a royal dwarf and a priest here, treasures that had remained buried for millennia. If such riches can hide in plain sight, one can only imagine what an entirely hidden structure might contain. Archaeologists have several theories. The structure's L-shape might be formed by two perpendicular limestone walls or twin shafts, perhaps the entrance hall of a burial complex. It may have been an entrance to the deeper structure, Sato's team wrote, hinting that the shallow L is essentially a doorway to whatever lies below. In other words, this could very well be the antechamber of an unknown tomb. For now, the answers remain sealed under Giza's sands. As of 2024, archaeologists have begun carefully excavating the site. Under the blistering sun, they are gingerly removing the sand that has cloaked this structure for centuries. Will they uncover a hidden stairway or walls inscribed with the name of a forgotten individual? Perhaps even a cache of offerings left untouched? Every find, a cut stone here, a pottery shard there, helps piece together the puzzle of who built this and why. Any organic remains or artifacts that emerge could be carbon dated, pinning down the structure's age within the Great Pyramid's timeline. The world is watching with anticipation because such discoveries are exceedingly rare on the Giza Plateau in modern times. For over a century, archaeologists believed they had a firm grasp of Giza's secrets, yet this find suggests the book isn't closed after all. We hoped to find something, but we did not expect to find it there, Sato admitted, reflecting the team's surprise. Its very existence challenges long-held assumptions, proving that even in the shadow of the Great Pyramid, there are still surprises waiting to be unearthed. Some experts have even suggested this could change the way we perceive the Giza pyramids and their history, especially if it leads to a pristine tomb or a structure unlike any seen before. The prospect that a patch of sand once dismissed as empty might yield a discovery that rewrites part of ancient history is as tantalizing as it sounds. In true documentary fashion, this story is unfolding one layer at a time. Each new day of digging could reveal a twist, perhaps a sealed door, the edge of a hidden chamber, or a glint of ancient treasure. For now, the L-shaped structure keeps its secrets buried in darkness. But as archaeologists carefully brush away sand that hasn't seen daylight in millennia, the world can feel the thrill of discovery in the air. We are watching history in the making, or rather, history in the unmaking, as layers of time are peeled back. The sands of Giza are stirring, whispering a story that has waited untold for ages. All eyes are on that L-shaped enigma by the Great Pyramid, for whatever emerges from its depths will surely deepen our understanding of this iconic site and remind us that even here, the past still holds astonishing surprises. As experts puzzled over the strange L-shaped structure near the Great Pyramid, attention quietly shifted to something even more mysterious an unopened passageway hidden in plain sight. Now, after decades of speculation, scientists have finally breached the secret door at the very top of the pyramid, and what they found is nothing short of astounding. The Great Pyramid, mostly that's the one that's been studied. We actually haven't done a whole lot of studying on the other pyramids. It's something that's severely lacking. Uh, in, fa in fact, we've not even cleared off the bases of some of the other pyramids up at Giza. It's, it's crazy. So you yeah, can understand yeah. why people start to question the historical narrative. The reality of them is probably stranger and more interesting than anything people can think up in terms of fiction. For centuries, we've believed that the ancient Egyptians were the masterminds behind this architectural marvel. But what if they weren't? 
What if instead, they simply moved into these colossal structures? Join us as we explore groundbreaking theories, unravel new discoveries, and challenge everything we thought we knew about one of the seven wonders of the ancient world.